and greetings, folks. Welcome to another Alpha Magnus review. Today, we are going to go over one of four in the Turtles of Grayskull Wave. That's right. I got the whole dang thing. And if you can guess, we're going to start with the most boring of them, in my opinion, which is a almost complete. Almost a tie between Skeletor and Tila, but Tila K takes the cake because she does not look very uh, exciting, if that was what we think. Uh, these got a, got them unpunched, so that kind of stinks, because I do want to keep an unpunched one for um, for collector like purposes, but they're all kind of beat up. This was from Big Bad Toy Store, and this pla like plastic seems cheaper than it was before. So, whatever. Let's get this uh, Tila open. Uh, we'll take a look at the back. It does have the entire spread of who we get. Uh, remove shell armor to use as a shield. That's kind of the thing with these is they just gave them shell armor, which, in all honesty, is kind of lame. Uh, I think they probably could have done some more integrations and had maybe, like, a pizza thrower or something like that, but this is an agreement between Nickelodeon and them, and probably Playmates is like, those are our ideas. We don't like that. <laughs> so we got to deal with what we got to deal with. Um, I've actually thought about making my own uh, and then looked up how much Ninja Turtle like accessories are, and they are not cheap, so screw that. Uh, let's get Tila open here. Uh, karate! She comes with a book. This one looks like the uh, third book, I believe, in the in the in the the set so far. Uh, got there's Casey Jones. Look at that baby face. Um, uh, there's April as the sorceress, which I think is kind of funny that she got it before Tila in this universe. Uh, we got S Splinter Skull, who is uh, King Gray Skull mixed. So there's Merman, who I still have to find. Why well, can't I just order this? Um, I did get a, a Moss Man, so that's good. Uh, there's a Splinter, and there's that. We're going to see that four more times, so get used to that. Uh, we're, in fact, we're going to put that right back here. Uh, here we go with her, her documentation, proving that she is a legal citizen of Eternia. Uh, that's all the stuff you could take out. That's getting crushed up and thrown in the garbage. Take a look here. We got some more stickers that you can't take off, which is a little bit of a bummer. Because I tried to take... I'd taken them off. They're real hard to do, but... Um, I'd like them them for stickers, guys. <clears throat> and here we got her. Here's Tila. Uh, yet another Tila. The 78th Tila that I've gotten. Um, you know, there are other females in, in this universe. Uh you can make figures of. Especially in the cartoon collection, there's like tons of them. So right off the bat, I'm kind of disappointed because this just clips on and that's just going to fall off. In fact, her other side already fell off. Let's uh, get a zoom on. There we go. Why is it not zooming? Zoom. There. Uh, focusing anyway. Her head is attached, so you can't even swap this out with anybody else's. It is a rubbery thing. This does spin, which is interesting. Looks like her armor does remove, so let's pop that off and see what's underneath. Uh, it is the better clamp system. And I'll be honest with you, this I kind of like more than anything, is just having a weirdly colored Tila outfit. Um, she's like alternate universe Tila. I'm sure, sure I could just pop another Tila head on there and we've got it. Um... But that kind of shows you what she's got. And then we've got her, that part there. Slide this back in here. In the meow. And then clamp that down. And there we go. Uh, this is okay. It is not the greatest. I... She is going to go in the back with Man-at-Arms and all the other guys that are just, like, I have stuff that looks like turtles. Because um, cause I get why the turtles would put on armor and stuff. I do not get why they would put on turtle armor. Uh, it's not like Shredder and them are allergic to turtles or something. Uh, and then she's got a big old sigh. They're just themed for the event. 
and and in actuality there there is a place for these these type of figures and i almost wish that and who knows we might get that that they had done um like versions of the he-man uh universe kind of in the cartoon uh for ninja turtles because that would have been real cool like have some random um like have her wearing like an april outfit or or one of the other characters um just giving them turtle armor is not not doing it for me uh we'll see uh here's her shield which is okay it is um i believe it's the same one that, that man at arms comes with it does go back here and you can click it in like so like this like that like this sent up so there's her shield on her back or you can put it on her um in her hands but that's it that is that is all she's got um Really feel like they're mismanaging this this part. I do think that the the turtles in this are, which is funny because this is a this is a Masters of the Universe. Like Mattel made this. Um, the Masters of the Universe figures are the secondary. Uh, the Ninja Turtles that they've released are way better than the uh, than the others. So there we got her. There's Tila. She's uh, she's looking good. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, subscribe, comment. Until next time, I'm Alpha Magnus. Um, it's technically a toy. <laughs>